Hey guys, welcome back to Digital Gigger. If you're new to this channel, this channel is about helping you get ahead in the digital economy and making more money. Today, I'm actually talking about how working in a call center helped me overcome my fear of rejection. Digital Gigger work from anywhere in the gig economy. So, working in this call center, I had to sell a product uh, by making phone calls to people uh, in the evening. So I was calling and calling and calling and people were just getting home from their jobs and were pretty pissed off at whatever was going on in their lives and now I'm calling them and and they're really mad at me and and they're hanging up on me and it was really tough to sit there and be rejected all night long so the next day when I came into work I, I made some rules for myself I said okay it's gonna be tough people are gonna be hanging up hanging up I'm gonna get a lot of rejection but I'm not worried about those people my job is to find that one person who will listen to me and when they do listen to me I've got to make the best presentation that I can in a short period of time. And that's going to be my goal for today. So I started making my calls and rejection, rejection, rejection. And then finally, somebody actually took the time to listen to what I was pitching. And I explained to them what I was pitching. They listened. And at the end of my presentation, I guess, on the phone, they accepted the offer and I had made my first sale. So that gave me that extra energy that I needed to keep going on for the night. I knew it was possible to make a sale now. I just had to keep going and going and going and, and make more phone calls. So with every call, I got better at the pitch and I started to also get better at listening to people's uh, voices, the background sounds, and trying to fit in to what I could in that conversation, the few seconds that I had to relate to them. So the rejection, was the tough part. Yes, I got a lot of rejection, but finding ways to overcome that rejection, I got better and better at what I was doing. And I eventually ended up being the top salesperson in that organization. And that was something that I really treasured because I knew how hard it was for me to overcome all this rejection and then find a system that worked and that made me uh, the top of what I was doing. So in the real world, when I left this job in the call center, the skills that I had learned from listening to people, to finding cues, to being able to identify an opportunity in the conversation was much easier when you're dealing with people one-on-one -on -one and you're speaking to people in person. So now that I could basically pick up on all these senses, all these things just with my hearing, and now... I could add sight and see visual cues and things like that. It made me much stronger at sales and being able to do things uh, in in life that I was afraid of sometimes. Like there was things that uh, I was afraid to approach uh, people to for opportunities and stuff. But because I had handled all this rejection at this call center, it gave me this extra strength that I knew that the same thing would happen in the real world. That if I spoke to people and kept at it. I was going to get rejection, but at some point I was going to find somebody that was going to listen to me. So that call center job ended up giving me the courage to be able to move away from rejection and not think of rejection as a negative thing, but as getting one, cl one step closer to the next person that was going to listen to me. So that's something that you guys, if you've never worked in a call center and you have a chance to work in sales, even if it's like a couple months, it's going to build this system in you, this immunity to negativity that you're going to be able to overcome. If you can take no's all night and then find that yes, it's going to work out in the real life, That in real world, I should say, that you're going to be able to uh, overcome a lot more when you've practiced over hours and hours of being rejected than in the real world when you go out to do other jobs in person, uh, you're going to be better off for it. So if you guys are looking to go into sales, I would suggest starting with a job at a call center and trying to perfect your skills at selling over the phone because it's going to make it a lot easier for you when you go out into the real world and talk to people and maybe do direct sales or if you own your own business, uh, if you're going to have to present ideas to people to pitch some sort of idea that you, you're working on. Uh, building that rejection uh, toolkit, I guess. I don't know what you want to call it, but if you can become immune to rejection, 
you're going to get closer to opportunities. And that's where uh, I want you guys to, to, to go out and try to get as many no's. Hey, it doesn't, it doesn't bother you. It shouldn't bother you because you're going to get one yes at some point. Um, so if you have any thoughts on how you overcome negativity and rejection in your sales uh, or your presentations, drop it down in the comments below because we'd love to share it with the other uh, digital gigger community members and if you like this type of content that uh, deals with making money online op entrepreneurial skills sales all sorts of stuff like that don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you know when the next video comes out and we'll see you guys in the next one have a great day guys